Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite girl, and this is Lifestyle with Chi. Yes, um, today's video I'll be sharing with you guys the things you need to stop doing in your 20s. Yes, I know a lot of us are struggling to let go of some things, but now today I'm going to be sharing with you the basic things you should let go in your 20s. Please, if you're new to my channel, do wait to subscribe, turn on the notification button so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. You will be the first person to watch it. So, without much ado, let's get into the video. Yes, and we're talking about the things you should stop doing in your 20s. So number one of the things you stop doing in your twenties is stop self-doubting. Stop self-doubting, rather you should keep improving. Yes, we get a lot of discouragement when we want to start doing things. And the, let's say people struggle with starting up a business, people struggle with doing this YouTube thing, people start to struggle with, you know, going out. We lack the self-confidence and we feel like we can't do this. Or because this person is doing it I can't do it much better than but trust me you can you can it's all about your self-confidence it's all about the doubt in you let go of the doubt and you have you see how things will turn around let's look at the book of Psalm I want to quote something for the Bible so we're looking at the book of Psalms chapter 78 verse 72 and he said so he fed them according to the integrity of his heart and guided them by the skillfulness of his hands yes so according to what you have in your mind you know what you desire you know how you want it to be you know how you want it to go well for you manifest it speak it pray it baby girl baby boy you will do wonderful you will be amazed at what you can do stop self-doubting we doubt ourselves a lot that we can't do this we can't go over this we can't handle this we can't start that business we can't we can't go to that school we can't finish that degree we can't get those masters Trust me, when you put your mind to it, work hard, pray, manifest it every now and then. You will see how things will turn around. And let's go to number two. Number two is stop going back to your exes. Hello. Mm, I know, I know. Sometimes it's that first love. Sometimes it's that person that you've had so much to do with in the past that you think you can't continue without them. But trust me, when you let go of it, it's difficult. It's very difficult to let go of them. Yes, but with time, time heals everything. <laughs> it will be so you'll be so amazed at how far you've come without this person in your life. Some people come into your life and they are toxic. They make you feel like they will always be there or you can't do anything without them. But trust me, when you see those red flags and you know it's not working and you let go of it, don't turn back. It will be difficult at first, but with time you will see that it was worth it. You will see that you are actually healing. You will see that you can do this. You will see that you will do way much things better than them when they were there. And you also notice that you open up new opportunities to meet amazing people who God has put in your life that you've been blocking because you've been holding on to the past. Stop going back to your exes. I can't stress this more. I used to do that. I used to do that. I used to do that. I wouldn't. I would always use myself as, as an example. I used to do that. I definitely used to think that without my ex, then then nothing was going to work because you know building your world around somebody it's so difficult to move forward. But trust me, when I learned to let go, I was happy with myself. I was amazed with what I could achieve without this person. I was amazed to see that there are a lot of things this person is stopping me from doing. Holding on to this person held back some of the dreams I had. And the sooner I realized it, it was better for me. Yeah, so please and please, guys, girls, stop going back to your exes. It was a feeling and you will get over the feeling. Give room for new people to come, Give open your heart to welcome new things and you will be amazed at what you will see. God has good plans for us. He wants us to move forward, not backward. They are exits for a reason, so please stop going back to them. And number three of the things you stop doing in your 20s, stop spending on unnecessary things. At this point, at this age, in our 20s, we should be learning how to save up 
save up for the future because some of us will love to retire very early and you will have to sit down to reap the fruit of your labors from the 20s. 20s is that age when you feel like everything is, you know, you are all over the place, you are bubbling, you are, you are healthy, you are strong, you can do anything you want and that is when you should start saving up, you should start packing up things, you should start gathering, you should start investing. I, I am a person, I was always scared of investing, but when I started to try it, I was like, it was really worth it, yes. You know, when you invest and you know that at this point in time, I have something stacked up somewhere, I'm not going to touch it for this time, this time, and when I'm going to touch it, it's going to pay off. You'll be amazed at what you have when you start investing. Investment is necessary from your 20s. Even if you can do it before you get to 20, trust me, it's really worth it. Start investing, stop buying things that you don't need, stop going for things because you just like them or you saw them and you think you can afford it or so you want to go for it. No, start saving. Every penny counts. Every coin counts. Every one CD, one Naira, 10 Kobo, any amount, every five dollars, no matter your country, every currency, no matter how small, what is worth something. Every amount is worth something. Start saving it, start saving it, and you'll be amazed at how much you will get. You will be amazed at how much you, you must have accumulated at the end of whatever period you are giving yourself. But whilst you are doing it, don't, don't stress yourself. Don't put yourself in a tight corner that, oh, if I don't get this amount, then I'm not. No. You would rather be self-doubting yourself again, you see? You'd be that, ah, so how, how come I'm not able to get this? How come I'm not able to achieve this? Don't do that. It's, it's good to give yourself a targeted goal, but don't give yourself a burden that you can carry. Make sure it is worth it. Make sure, sit down, look at it, strategize, and make sure that whatever you are planning, it is attainable. Don't give yourself goals that are not attainable <laughs> so that you wouldn't be having heartaches at the end of the day. Okay, the number four things to stop doing in your 20s are uh, stop gossiping. Some of us, we can gossip for Africa. <laughs> I can't share this enough, but people we should really stop gossiping it's, it's not worth it some is these days it's not only the ladies no more the guys are part of it you will sit down and somebody will pass you don't know the person you've never met the person you've not had any kind of relationship with this person in question but you have something to say <laughs> it's funny but it's so true and gossiping it starts when when there's a gathering with people you should also consider the people you hang around with what do they talk about when you guys get together? Who do you talk about? What do you discuss? You discuss people, you discuss business, you discuss finances, do you discuss how to make it in life or you just sit down and discuss people? People you have contact with, people you hang around with have a lot of role to play in your life. Gossiping. You cannot just sit on your own and start gossiping. It has to do with a group of people. It has to do with people from two, three, you know, when you sit together like that and start talking about people, that is gossiping. You sit down and you want to talk about somebody, but the person is somewhere doing their thing and you are rather taking the paracetamol for them. Come on, it, it's, not, it's, not, it's not worth it. And don't forget that when you sit down with these people and you finish talking about somebody and you leave, they will still talk about you. There is no way they wouldn't talk about you because you started it. You brought it up. When you leave, they'll be like, this girl too, she can talk about you. You will become the topic. You see, for me, something I don't know how to do is sit down and gossip. I don't discuss people. If I hear something about somebody, I really want to go and ask. I will confront you. I will ask. That is it. I don't like to gossip about somebody or about people. For me, it's not healthy. And I am kind of a loner, so yeah, I don't get the time to gossip. <laughs> I rather invest my time in doing my business and other things. So that's it. Basically, stop gossiping. Gossiping is not worth it. It's a waste of time. It is a waste of time. Stop gossiping. The number five thing you should stop doing in your 20s stop drinking alcohol. We all love to get high, we all love to spend time during the weekends, enjoy, hang out with friends, drink to stupor, but trust me sis, trust me brother, you should stop drinking alcohol in your 20s. You can 
you can drink other things not alcohol you can do cocktails without alcohol in them doesn't make you more or less of a person because you don't have alcohol in it you know because of the peer pressure we feel like when you don't take alcohol you don't belong or you are not living the life or you are not a vibe but trust me do the things that please you do the things that are more comfortable with you do that thing that when you do it you are you are relaxed you are fine you feel like yeah this is me don't do it because somebody else is doing it no if you know you can't take this don't take it alcohol is good at some point it's not, I'm not saying it's, it's not a good thing because it has a lot of bad things to do to your body to your health and the time to start taking up care of your health it's in your 20s your training will determine how well you will age trust me alcohol is a no-no even if you're going to take at least it shouldn't be every time you shouldn't abuse it it should be once in a while occasionally and you shouldn't take alcohol with a drink with high percentage of alcohol it is not advisable alcohol should be something you should be cutting off in your 20s learn to be cutting it off be removing it we're planning to be pushing it aside in your twenties. <laughs> so the number 16 you should stop doing in your 20s. Sorry, I'm looking down. I have it written down, so I want to be reading that to you guys. The number 16 you should stop doing is stop comparing yourself to other people. Ah, social media is making us we compare ourselves with people in social media, even people in real life that will think that we are not doing anything, that we are not achieving anything for ourselves. But trust me, you are doing so good. You will be surprised that somebody else somewhere is admiring you. Is admiring how you carry yourself, how you present yourself, how you behave, how you are doing that business, how you are going to that school, how you are being so focused, how you are taking care of yourself. But you are there comparing yourself to somebody else just like that social media has made it that when you see people on social media they're posting stuff you feel like you've not you've not started anything people are living the life people are traveling people are going now people are hanging now you know all this thing but trust me the better the earlier you stop you stop comparing yourself to people it, it will go a long way for you it will boost your self-confidence start the only person you should compare yourself with is your past self take back look back at where you were before look back at the years that are past and look at this at the time now you see how far you've come you'll be so happy with it you will thank god because you've really come a long way the only competition you should have is yourself, baby girl and baby boy. The only competition you should have right now in your life is yourself. Stop comparing yourself. You look good with that body. You look beautiful with that face. You look handsome with that height. You are doing great in that business. As long as you are able to fend for yourself, you are able to pay those bills, you are able to take yourself out once in a while, trust me, you are doing very good. As long as you have that degree, as long as you are able to finish that secondary school, as long as you are able to do that masters, trust me, you are doing good. As long as you are able to start that business, as long as you are able to push forward, as long as you are able to wake up every day and not give up, you are doing good. I can't stress this enough, but stop comparing yourself. I used to compare myself a lot. I lack this self-confidence, but as I started praying and talking to God and I started reading a lot, which helped boost my self-confidence and my self-doubt, the low self-esteem. Reading, it really broadened my mind, trust me. Reading really, really broadened my mind. I, I, I don't know, but it helped a long way. And God also helped in a, in a way that I was so amazed. I am so much confident in myself right now. That's why you tell me, oh, you cannot do it. I can do it. Once I put my mind in it, I can do it and I'll give you good results. Stop comparing yourself to people. Stop comparing yourself to people on social media. Stop comparing yourself to people in real life. Stop comparing yourself to those your friends. Everybody's destiny is different. You can never be like somebody else. You can only be yourself and that is who you should compare yourself with. The only competition you should be seeing is yourself, nobody else. Compare yourself to your past self. Work on doing better than your previous self. That's the only comparison you should be doing. 
Number seven and the last thing you should stop doing in your 20s is stop spending all your time on social media. Because of the time that you've been spending on social media, that is where the comparison comes. You start seeing people traveling, girls living the life, boys doing this, boys buying cars, girls driving Porsche cars, girls doing this, people getting married, and you'll be like, ah, so what am I doing wrong? Where am I going wrong? We all want to settle down, we all want to have that good life, we all want to travel someday, we all want to live the La Vida local lifestyle, but it starts from somewhere. Those people, they started somewhere. And funny enough, those people, they don't have it. But social media, you know you have to, they call it packaging. Everything is packaging, but trust me, when you come in reality, you might be doing way better than those people that you think they are doing better than you are. Social media is deceiving. Everything you see on social media is not real. People spend a lot of money they don't even have just to package for social media. So my dear, my sweetheart, my darling, my guy, my girl, the young girls, the young boys out there, even people who are way older than 20, you can learn from this video. Please and please, please consider the things I've, list, I've listed in this video and try to work on yourself. You know those things that you are having difficulty in letting go? It might not be part of what I've said, but I know that there are a lot of things that we are struggling to deal with in our life, to let go of. Please do well. The only competition you have is yourself. Think of yourself as your own competition. Work hard and be the best and the better version of yourself in the near future to come. Work hard on being a good mother to your future children. Work hard on being a good elder or younger sibling to your siblings. Work hard on being that elder brother, elder sister to your younger ones. Work hard on being that good daughter or good son to your parents. It will go a long way. The only competition is yourself. Stop self-doubting, stop taking alcohol, and stop doing the nasty things that we do, that you do in this 20s because it will have a role to play in the future to come. We might not be seeing the result now, but trust me, when it gets to that time, you will see that those things I was doing before, they were not really worth it. I used to love to hang out a lot. I used to love to go out a lot. It's not like I hate it now. I don't hate it, but I have limited my hanging out. I have limited spending time out. I have limited eating some things. I have limited taking some drinks. And I have limited spending on unnecessary things. Things that I know that I don't need it, but I want it. I wouldn't go for it. I go for the things I need, that I know that they are very, very essential. That I will need it. Need it. Like, need it, need it. That's what I go for. So thank you guys very much for watching my video. This is a very short video. <laughs> thank you for your love. Thank you for the subscribers. Thank you for supporting me it's been a long time coming i always wanted to start this for a long time but you know we're here thank you so much guys and please turn up the notification button and subscribe to my channel so that you'll be notified whenever i post a new video whenever i have a new content out there thank you so much guys and love you bye